Hello all, welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today we will be covering the AWS Cloud Practitioner Real Exam Questions Part 6. So if you want to check out the 5 parts earlier done, please check out the playlist pinned in the i button above as well as in the description box. Okay, so let's start with today's questions. So a global media company uses AWS organizations to manage multiple AWS accounts. Which AWS service or feature can the company use to limit the access to AWS services for member accounts? So now what is it asking here? It is asking you want the organization to manage multiple accounts, right? So now IAM, IAM what it does is who or what can access, what services it can access. That is the duty of IAM. Service control policy. It is a policy that is specifies that the services and actions that the users and roles can use in the accounts. Okay. And it can operate across organization units. Okay. So this is one of the answer which we can say. So before finalizing it, I would like to go through the other options as well. Organizational units. So organizational units enable you to organize your accounts into a hierarchy. And that, you know, that makes it easier to apply management controls. Okay. So like, for example, in your office also, you have team manager, team leads. So what is one team lead is getting, the other team lead is also getting the same thing, same benefits according to the company rules, right? So that is why organizational units is used so that you can apply the controls to the proper hierarchy. Okay. Access control list is used to manage access to buckets and objects. Okay. So uh, the correct answer to this is service control policies, which allows us to limit the access to AWS services for member accounts. Coming to next question, a company wants to limit its employees AWS access to a portfolio of predefined AWS, AWS resources. Which AWS solution should the company use to meet this requirement? So now what it is asking is that a company needs that, okay, employees should refer a portfolio that I, we have these, these AWS resources, which we can use in our company. So config, config is used for configuration of services, not for this portfolio kind of structure. SDK, SDK are a set of libraries which help you build AWS friendly code in your language like Java, Python or something. Service catalog. Yes, service catalog is the one which allows the organization to create and manage catalogs of IT services that are approved for use on AWS. Okay. So this is our answer. But what is AppSync? AppSync is the one which allows your applications to access exactly the data they need. Okay. It is mostly based on serverless GraphQL and all. So service catalog is the correct answer. So an online company was running a workload on premises and was struggling to launch new products and features. After migrating the workload to AWS, the company can quickly launch products and features and can scale its infra infrastructure as required. Okay, so which AWS cloud value proposition does this scenario describe? So this point, similar kind of question, we have done it in the part five series of this. So this is very much simple. I would not like to highlight much on this because uh, we have already covered it quickly. Launching the products is the example of agility. So the correct answer to this is business agility. Coming to the next question, which of the following are advantages of AWS cloud? AWS management of user owned infrastructure? No. Ability to quickly change required capacity? Yes, because that is one of our biggest concern, right? Today we have a amount of data but now we have more amount of data and it is increasing day by day and we need to worry about capacity if you are on your own infra you're having your own infrastructure but if you are having if aws is managing your infrastructure using elasticity it can easily change the capacity okay high economies of scale why because you have pay as you go price 
so yes increased deployment time to market no it is decreased in deploy time deployment time to market right earlier in the part 5 series we saw one question which said that 3 to 4 weeks it used to take when it was on premises and when it, when they migrated to aws cloud it takes 2 to 3 days so definitely it has decreased not increased increased fixed expenses no it is very economical okay because pay as you go price and you have different models where you can select like on demand but if i talk about compute right so on demand reverse uh, on demand reserved spot instances you can go as per your needs coming to the next question aws has the ability to achieve lower pay as you go pricing by aggregating usage across hundreds of thousands of users this describes which advantage just now we discussed okay it is high economies of scale so launch globally in minutes is not an advantage of pricing okay increase speed and agility no no guessing about compute capacity so for pay as you go pricing this in aggregates which advantage high economies of scale okay a company has a database server that is always running the company hosts the server on ec2 instances the instance size are suitable for the workload make your pointers instance size are suitable that means they don't want a changing size they don't they are fine with that capacity they don't want to change anything they they want to just run the database server okay the workload will run for a year one more second point it will run for one year okay so which is the most cost effective option which ec2 instance purchasing option will meet these requirements most cost effectively okay so our pointers were fixed size one one year okay and most cost effective three pointers so now coming to standard reserved instances yes because you know that it will be for one year okay when you go for one year three year term way then you should go for reserved instances okay and why not convertible i'll tell you in a minute on demand instances on demand instances is pay as you go like per hour per second pricing okay so that is good but it will not be cost effective compared to standard reserved instances spot instances they want always running server in the first line they have mentioned so spot instances is what it is a bidding system if someone bids higher than you you have to leave that instance and you have to look for another one till you don't get another instance you have to wait and this company cannot do that because they want a server which is always running okay convertible reserved instances so now i told you to mark the pointers right so our first pointer was instance sizes are suitable convertible why why you want to convert when you know the size is suitable you know it will run for one year so go for standard reserved instance okay next a company is developing a mobile app that needs a high performance no sql database which aws services could the company use for this database okay aurora aurora is amazon database but it is not a no sql database rds is not a no sql database redshift is a data warehouse okay so you have only two options left document db and dynamo db are no sql databases next question which tasks are the responsibility of aws according to the aws shared responsibility model i guess this type of question we have done lot of times and uh, literally you need to tell me the answer to this okay uh patching guest operating system no it's a user responsibility upgrading the firmware of the network infrastructure aws responsibility apply password rotation for your iam users so when you are creating a user you will apply password rotation policy correct maintain the physical security you have to not you don't have to worry about that okay that is aws responsibility maintain least privilege access to the root user account you need to protect your root user account okay so the correct answer is upgrade the firmware of the network infrastructure and maintain the physical security of edge locations okay coming to the next one which of the following are features of nacls as they are used in the aws cloud choose two so they are stateless correct nacl is stateless so they are stateful no 
दे वैल्यूट ऑल रूल्स नो एन एस सी एल प्रोसेस रूल्स इन ऑर्डर ओके विद द लोएस्ट नंबर रूल फर्स्ट एंड देन इट विल डिसाइड वेदर टू अलाउ ट्रैफिक और नॉट ओके दे ऑपरेट एट द इंस्टेंस लेवल नो दे ऑपरेट एट द सबनेट लेवल ओके विच ए डब्ल्यू एस सर्विस और फीचर कैन बी यूज टू क्रिएट अ प्राइवेट कनेक्शन बिटवीन एन ऑन प्रिमाइस वर्क लोड एंड एन ए डब्ल्यू एस क्लाउड वर्क लोड सो रूट फिफ्टी थ्री रूट फिफ्टी थ्री इज अ हेल्थ चेक सर्विस मैसी इज अ डेटा प्रोटेक्शन एंड सिक्योरिटी सर्विस नाउ डिफरेंस बिटवीन डायरेक्ट कनेक्ट एंड प्राइवेट लिंक दिस इज अ वेरी नोन डिफरेंस विद पीपल गेट कंफ्यूज ओके सो नाउ दे हैव सेट प्राइवेट कनेक्शन बिटवीन ऑन प्रिमाइज एंड ए डब्ल्यू एस क्लाउड वेन यू वॉन्ट टू हैव प्राइवेट कनेक्शन विद इन ए डब्ल्यू एस नॉट अबाउट ऑन प्रिमाइस एंड क्लाउड देन गो फॉर प्राइवेट लिंक इफ यू हैव ऑन प्रिमाइस एंड क्लाउड देन गो फॉर डायरेक्ट कनेक्ट so hopefully the session was useful today and i'm ending uh, the practice series of cloud practitioner with this uh, video and if you uh, have any doubts please let me know in the comment box and if you are interested in solution architect i'm doing a practice series as well as i have shared the strategy plan to achieve aws solution architect associate certificate please check that out also uh, if you are interested in java learning java i am doing a core java series you can check that out all the links are provided in the description box below so stay happy and let's codify with sonal in the next video please like share and subscribe my channel do not forget to hit the bell icon to get a notification of the updated video thank you